the Bible says, Then went King David in and sat before the Lord. And he said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is my house, that thou hast brought me hitherto? This is David's response to Nathan the prophet telling David to do all that is in his heart when David expressed the desire to build a house for God to dwell in. And David's response was just simply to go into God's presence, sit there, count his blessings. That is great counsel and a great example for you and me today. God has blessed you, Christian, abundantly above all that you ask or think. The Bible says he's given you all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. He has given you desires of your heart and he's allowed you to see those desires come to their fulfillment like he did with David What should be your response? Why don't you just take some time today and sit before the Lord and just thank Him and be overwhelmed by His goodness to you? Have you ever thought about how good God has been to you and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that Thou hast brought me hitherto? Have you realized where God has brought you to today? what God has brought you from, what God has promised to take you into, why don't you stop in all the hustle and bustle of the lives we live? Spend some time to sit before the Lord and just muse on His goodness to you. Take a seat and just look up to heaven and say, Lord, you are so good to me. Why are you so good to me? Thank you for being so good to me. Praise your holy name for taking me out of darkness and into your marvelous light. If God inhabits the praises of his people, then you and I just getting overwhelmed with his goodness will give us a chance to get a little close to the Lord, not to get a prayer answered, not to lay our petitions before him, but just to marvel at his goodness, at his grace, at his love, to take a seat and count our blessings that we might give him the glory.